Welcome to Adorable Corner, where sensible reigns. It is our promise to keep you informed and entertained with all that makes sense. Do subscribe to this channel and like our videos always. Hello, how you doing? Trust you're doing great. And you are feeling good. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we're not here to single. Like seriously, we're here to do tutorial. That's why we are here. We're not here to sing. Okay, enough of the singing. My voice is not sweet, Abby. My hand, don't mind me. Okay, just pardon the, you know, very, very uh, feeling the gap mm -hmm. voice. Yeah, today uh, we want to learn something very, very interesting. And um, we're going to the Microsoft Windows. We're not talking about Android today. So welcome, 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 welcome. And let's learn something new today. What are we learning? We're learning how you can convert your document to image. Call it image, call it scan document. If you prepare a document, let's say a letter or a slide or any document whatsoever, you can convert it to a scan document. You don't necessarily need a scan, but you don't need a scan at all to do this. All you need is your system and the document that you have typed and you have been able to format it properly. That's all you need. If you have all of that prerequisite, you are good to go. And this feature is very useful if you do most of your job on the social, I mean social media, where you have to type something and post it live on Facebook. You know. People do it a lot. They post images and the image will contain texts. So today, you want to learn how you can do that as a visually impaired person. Let me not fail to mention here that I'm using a laptop running the latest built-in Windows 10. I'm using JAWS 2019 June release. This demonstration will be done with JAWS and everything you will learn here you can also do it using your NVDA the method you know you can apply on NVDA is similar to what I am about to do right now in essence the process is same so, like I said, you need a document that you have prepared. Make sure the document is properly written and you've done all the formatting, the aligning, the centralization, and all of that. After doing all of this, then you can turn this document to a scan copy. If you do that, you can keep the document, maybe it's your CV after preparing it, just turn it to a scan copy, keep it in your email. If you love to share it on Facebook, you can just go ahead and do that. So, my computer is here and I'm going to select a document. Let's go right ahead. Search box edit. Type in text. All right. I don't need to tell you that um, you go to my document to select the exact document you want to use. But should in case you don't know, if you are looking for document 
of course, you can get it from the document folder. So that's where I'm going right D-O-2-H-C-U-2, now. HCU2, Word 2016, at FEV, Word 2016, at Find Results at Word 2000, Word HP Documentation, File, Press Right to Switch Preview. Okay, HP Documentation. So um, let me use this folder. Website. Okay, let's Windows do this. Folder view list PT. This PC enter. This PC. Items to D. Desktop D. Documents. Good. Enter. This PC. Items view multi select list box. Not selected custom office templates. 13 slash zeros. So this is my document folder. I'm going to look for a file here. Let's see what I have. Incredible stories. Sound report zero zero budget all shortcut keys of Mizan zero zero budget all short basic compute computer lit CV Idel with diet EG it's I Lizzie's Microsoft Minute Microsoft Minute Nav letter mod of Nav letter power it's a EG diet CV compute basic computer training all short computer literacy basic computer all shortcut zero zero sound report incredibles custom sub zeros all shortcut basic compute all shortcut keys of Ms. Office. Face all shortcut keys of this office. Okay, this is a document. Let me try to open it. All shortcut key of MS Office. Enter. I'm gonna press enter on it. All shortcut keys of this office. PDF Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Reading order. Combo box. Info reading order from This is a PDF document. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. All plus R. Left to right. Use reading order in raw print screen. Okay, the document is open right now. So the first thing you are going to do is to select the document. Just use the select all command. That's control A. That's the select all command. After doing that, you need to now copy it to the clipboard. So let's try that. Left to you. Left in. Let you let in. Let you let in. Um, left in for reading order from document record. Okay, let's Alt explore with uh, Microsoft PDF Word. Play, 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 um, play. Let's, let's go. Alt F4. Play. Documents. To move basic computer computer litter CVI down way off diet EGL it's IW Lizzie script Microsoft Excel 20 minute nav minute nav letter nav letter nav minute my Lizzie it's I the EGL diet CVI computer lit basic computer all shortcut zero zero budget for nav Lagos 2019 all shortcut zero zero enter okay let's use this this is a opening word document zero zero budget for nav and it's well formatted so control a to select all okay. then c that's control c for Nothing copy selected selected okay copy selection to clipboard okay so the document is copied to the clipboard right now now let's now go through the process of making it a scan document or image whichever one we're going to be using an application called Paints. Yes, Paints. That's what we're going to be using. So to get this application, just press your Start Screen button. That's the Windows key. Search box edit. Type in text. And type Paint. P A I N T. Paint. Add. Press right to switch preview. Then press Enter. Enter. Untitled Paint. Now, before going further, let me say this: the Paint app is not accessible with screen reader you can read whatever is being typed here so because of this you need to be very careful you need to know what you're doing because if you type anything on the document you are about to paste or that you have pasted of course by the time you convert it you see that um, that document will have some error because um, you cannot correct it because it is not accessible. So you need to know what you're doing 
I'm in the paint app right now. I'm gonna paste. Paste it from clipboard. Good. Now let me just confirm what I have said. Let's use the reading keys to read. I'm pressing my up arrow. You can see nothing is being heard from Joss. I'm pressing my down arrow. Let's read character by character with the left and right arrow. See nothing. Let's try the word for word reading. Control plus the right arrow or left arrow. Okay, let's go page up. You can hear that. Let's go page down. Nothing. Let me use the up arrow, the down arrow, nothing. Okay, that's to confirm to you that the paint app is not accessible at all. Now, haven't pasted the document. All you need to do is to save the document and I'm going to show you how you'll be able to save it as an image that's a JPG format which you can also call a scan document because if you scan a document of course it's gonna come out in the JPG format so there are two ways to save here the first one is to press F12 of course that's a popular shortcut and that will activate save as or you just simply press Control plus S so I'm gonna press my F12 right now 9 10 11 12 F12 save as dialog file name that's Edit it combo. that's Untitled. the save as dialog the arrow keys or type the value all plus n I'll press okay I'll type the file name that's the name I want to give to the file let me just type um Junaid okay haven't done that I'm gonna press my tab key once let's see Save as type combo box PNG start Good. PNG. Now when you Data press the tab the key used. once, you are going to be landed on another menu called save as type. Now I'm there right now. The next thing I'm going to do is to just press my up arrow. PNG star dot PNG zip star dot zip star dot jpeg star dot jpg star dot jpeg that's it jpeg star dot jpg so you leave your arrow there then the next thing you're going to do is to press your tab key hide folders button save button to activate press space bar save button then you press alt s or the space bar space now the document has been saved right now of course, you know when you save a document, the next thing you're going to do is to close the application. So I'm going to close the Paint app. All that four. Zero, zero, budget for Nav Lagos. Now let's go to my document and look for it. Let's see. All that four. Let's Microsoft go to my Word. Document. Want to save your changes? Don't save button space. Let's go to my document. Doc, just profession documents. Okay. To an item J. Judy. Good. This is the file. Let's confirm the extension by pressing the right arrow twice. Date modified. Type JPG file. One of one. You can hear it's a JPG file. That was a file with the extension doc. That's DOC. That's now been saved in a way that you can have it shared on your social media pages as an image or keep it for later use in your email or anywhere you want to keep it okay so let me make an attempt to open this and you see that um, photo viewer will be the application that will open it Enter. see photos photos you can see it's saying photos good tonight dot jpg if i ocr this file right now you see that jaws would make an attempt to read what is there for me but 
This is not to teach how to OCR a document. What I'm here to teach is how you can convert your document to a scan document, your text document, your PDF document, um, your Microsoft Word documents, just convert it directly to a scan document or an image. But please make sure that you have done the necessary formatting to the document before carrying out all the processes. So I want to believe you've learned one or two things here. Don't keep what you have learned here to yourself. You know, do us that favor. Share this YouTube channel with your friends. Let them subscribe. That gives us, you know, thumbs up and it encourages us to do more. Till I see you again with another inspiring tutorial. This is tonight signing out. Thank you for your precious time watching and listening. We value your comment on our videos. For questions and concerns, please call plus two three four eight zero six one six zero nine one three four or send a mail to Emmanuel Junaid H at Gmail dot com E M M A N U E L J-U-N-A-I-D-H at gmail.com Catch you on the next video. Cheers!